Hello, friends. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, Streamcord has not posted still, and I'm scared the moment I do. Um, like I post it manually, it's going to be like whoopsie doopsie. Here I am. I'm just going to be annoyed. Yeah. No, it always says fuck a you. Which is fine. It's allowed to do that. All right. I have double posted. Oh no, Mabel's screaming. Uh, so, if you read that post, I have a friend. Uh, let me, hold on. Uh, Ghost, you're about to be audible. I'm real? Promise? You're re I, I promise. I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh, fucking there it goes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> two of them two of them and also mabel is screaming when is mabel not screaming oh shit i meant to not i meant to play an ad before i always do that i always try to play an ad so that people joining in don't get the 30 second ad break but i forgot to this time you will give twitch your money you have to make up for the ad now I don't want to do the ad now, because I was about <laughs> to start. <laughs> um, but yeah, today I'm playing We Know the Devil. Um, I don't know the devil yet, though, is the problem. Uh, you will meet them soon. Mage thing, Mage Fangs. Thank you for the follow. Hi, Benny. Um, but yeah, let's switch to my. I know the devil, and she breaks into my house to raid my pantry. Don't say. Oh, oh, I totally misread pantry. Okay, you're allowed to say that then. And hold on, let me turn the volume back up for we know the devil, but. I also need to stream it to Ghost, and we'll see how badly this goes, because Ghost is going to help me with commentary, is the main thing. I have faith in whatever the hell it is you are running this on, because I know it is certainly better than my machine. Yeah, no, okay, wait, can- actually, before we start, can we talk about your machine? <laughs> are we talking about this again? I can give you the rundown again if you need it. Yes, I need the rundown, like, mentally. Okay, oh. so... <laughs> oh shit, we need a rundown of trigger warnings. I actually don't know any, so... Um... Uh, religious themes, uh, horror... Uh, uh, um... Eyes... A lot of hands, uh, depending on the ending, of course. Uh, I'm just fucking racking my brain. Uh, okay. Um, uh, hmm. Internalized homophobia. Yeah, internalized homophobia. Allegedly a trans character who's misgendered. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I, uh, I don't know what I should put up, though, if there is anything. Mm. 
She's screaming so hard. She's a baby. She has to get it out somehow. Okay. I found trigger warnings for Devil May Cry 5. Oh, I think that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, but... Alright, so, Ghost, can you see the screen? Yeah. Alright, bet. Alright. So, yeah, hands, religious imagery, um, internalized homophobia, stuff. Ghost machine. Are we telling the machine story? <laughs> or are we oh. just going in? <laughs> oh, oh shit. Uh, yeah, no. It's up to okay. You. We can do the machine story first. Okay, so um, my dad has always been a really big, like, Blizzard nerd. And in the. Unfortunate. Uh, the, the, of course, unfortunate. In the, uh, the distant past of 2011, my dad decided to um, help work at a StarCraft II and League of Legends tournament in IPL 2011 in, in Atlantic City. And because of the way that the fucking process works, I guess, if a, if a computer just like fucks up for play, they just replace it instead of trying to address whatever problem. Uh, and so they put the non-functional or like whatever happened machine to the side and they just replace it with another thing. And my dad realized that they just put him there. No one's watching him. <laughs> so on the, um, on the last, on the last day of IPL, he, put, he and my favorite uncle and uh, another fam like quote unquote family member put it into the trunk of the car and then they went home. And nothing happened. And I've been using the same computer for the most part. Like, parts replaced when I accidentally blow them up. Uh, no contents on that one. And I, I've been using the same computer for God knows how long. Oh, uh, and let me know if, as always, volume too high, low on any specific part. Mm. But yeah, no, I learned that yesterday and was horrified. I could have sworn I've told it before. Music slightly loud, okie dokie. Yeah, yeah, that's what the... I figured. Uh, how do I change it? Fuck, uh, settings? Question mark? Or just the game itself? Alright, is that too low or is that good? There are also, like, um, sound effects, I guess, along with the music sometimes. So oh, when we get to those, they might be a different volume. Okay, good. All right. So is is so our plan was I would do the characters and you would do the narration. Mm -hmm. I'll fucking know which parts are narration and which parts are uh, characters. You'll, you'll know. Okay. You'll have the character name when they. Yeah. Cool. This is just narration. Now. All right. <laughs> so do you want to start? Yeah. Sure. I'm so excited. I fucking love this game. I really hope you guys like it as well. I bought nine different people this game when it was on sale for like a buck fifty because I have mental illness anyway. <laughs> We're drenched in sunscreen and bug spray and incense. We feel gross, we look gross, smell gross. We're sunburned and bug bitten and behind us is the devil. Every annoyance of summer nipping at our heels. Being in the summer scouts sucks incredibly. The cabins are stuffy and the beds are gross. The food is grosser and the counselors only sing about Jesus and they won't even let us have a transformation sequence. We can't wait until a week from now when the three of us are home in our beds and we won't have to think about what we do or don't deserve and we can leave cleaning up the devil to someone else. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, are you okay? Oh. Totally. Totally fine. Ow. Are you sure? It looked so bad. Nah, it's nothing. I'm okay. It literally looks like it fucking killed you. I totally, totally promise I am still alive. Okay. Don't fall asleep with a concussion. If you do, I'm calling 911. I can hear Mabel. Okay, I'm going to let her into my room. Please do. Ok, 
Kittens love screaming. Haha, <laughs> I won't. Do, please. Take me with you. Laughing off the head injury isn't all that Jupiter is good at. She is the best grades in class, and the coaches make her starter on whatever team she is the most pressing need for someone who can do sports. She's a perfect role model, except for how she always misses the winning goal and she always blanks on the last question. She leads when no one else wants to, which is always. Jupiter clutches her head. It hurts a lot. She thinks of, she thinks about him instantly pressing into her hands. It's a relaxing thought until she feels the texture of fingers in her scalp. Jupiter snaps a hair tie against her wrist. Are we late already? I I think we left pretty early. We've been talking for a long time though. I, I don't think so. Maybe? Not that long. Well, not too terribly long. Mabel, you are standing on my on my keyboard. I guess it's been kind of a while. We're we're not late already, are we? Absolutely. It's 606. Why? Oh no. I told you so. Idiot jerk face. Ugh. How much longer are you in Summer Scouts for? Another week. FML, this is the worst. Idiot jerk face. I will pray everyone dies. Stop giving me false hope. We're close. I'm pretty sure. We have to be. It's fine as long as we're not the last one there, right? It is utterly assured that they're already there because they did not have to do any of the complete bullshit we just did. I'm genuinely sorry for my horrible life. Happy hunting, Lamo. Fuck you. Neptune didn't tell us because she was too busy talking with her friends and how she doesn't act and doesn't care how much trouble we get into. Or maybe she didn't want us to worry as as long as we didn't have to worry. Neptune is very kind or possibly super mean and hates us, but that's okay. She's really funny. Neptune looks in no way like she's supposed to be here, but that's why she's here, of course. For a moment, she's about to say something, but it catches in her throat and she coughs instead. <laughs> oh! Over there! Where? See? That light! I don't see anything. It's right there? <laughs> it's over here. And there's the bonfire. We're not too late, right? Mm. Ha ha! Group West finally here! Kinda early for you guys, huh? <laughs> I didn't hear y'all swearing, did I? N no sir. N no sir. Nah. Ha ha ha! Sure you weren't. Mabel, stop going inside the the fucking Whataburger bag. Violence. Also, I love how you fucking vibe check the characters and you, I don't know, the voice. <laughs> I don't know if I was prepared for it emotionally, but spiritually, I'm all in. For the fucking bonfire, Captain? Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably change the voices as, like, I understand their vibes better. No, I think you hit this one spot on. We promise. Oh, I believe you. I will know about the rest, though. Uh. Um, Venus smiles in a way that makes everyone there want to punch him a little, but that's all it takes for them to forget we were even late. Venus can smile and laugh nervously through anything, and the rest of us are invisible for as long as we can endure the secondhand embarrassment. Sit down, everyone! The bonfire captain throws more incense in the fire. The sticky, sickly, sweet smell is the worst thing about the camp. It's a terrible blend. Termite-eaten wood from abandoned churches, dried daylilies from the sides of country roads, singed wire from burned-out radios, dubious apologies, and ashes of monsters of the week. 
Gross. Venus sits with his legs crossed, taking up as little space as he can, which is, at most, not very much. Neptune remains mercilessly fashionable, watching the other groups like they're the entertainment. Jupiter pulls her legs up and rests her chin on her knees. She's bad at posture, but she is good at being comfortable. She likes the security of holding her whole body. There's a perfect balance of usefulness and liability to the young for which the Summer Scouts are the most perfect solution. Everyone having a good time? No one is, or has much enthusiasm to fake it. I said, is everyone having a good time? But the captain can be motivating. I said, is everyone having a good time? And doesn't quit until everyone's at least putting effort into faking it. Yay. Y yes. Yeah, yeah. This is bullshit. That's more like it. Still a little quiet in the West. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> the bonfire captain picks up his guitar. Neptune doesn't even try to hide her look of pure offense. None of the counselors like to talk as much as he does. He must feel like he needs to give the sermon since he's in charge, but we know the counselors wish they were somewhere else as much as we do. You know, I, I wasn't the most popular when I was a kid. I got my share of fights, but I had a couple of guys I was best friends with and we stuck up for each other. Whenever my parents asked if I wanted to bring one of my friends somewhere, I'd say, I want to bring both of them. I thought I was doing this great thing, not holding one of my friends over the other, but secretly, I thought one of them was kinda annoying. And he kinda was. He whined and wouldn't go along with us sometimes. I felt pretty bad about that, so I tried to be an even better friend to make up for it. I thought if I could, could work even harder, I'd be able to make up for him. But actually, I wasn't helping him at all. He wouldn't have thought it. I wouldn't have thought it, but in the end, he was the one who that got in deep, deep trouble. I probably could have stopped it if I had told him to cut it out and man up instead of basically doing the opposite. Some friendships you can keep up. The rest, you gotta leave up to God. Stop rubbing against the microphone. <laughs> Shit! Maple! <laughs> the little book icon in the bottom uh, left is a log, if you want to read it. Ugh, Jesus. How long will this go on? There's no mercy in this world. You you think we're going to the cabin tonight? I don't know. Probably not. Good one, Jupiter. But there's no mercy in this world. It's our last week at camp and they haven't sent us there yet. And that loser has it in for us so bad. Maybe we won't have to go. I'm feeling optimistic this time. Mm. Why? Yeah, why? Uh, because... No, seriously, why? Why would you either ever think that? Hey there, Group West! Feel like meeting the devil tonight? Damn it. Oh no. Told you. Don't worry, guys. I hear hardly anyone ever dies. Things said before somebody dies. He was pretty mad, huh? He's just an upset puppy. He, he'd have been less mad if he hadn't been texting the whole time he was yelling at us. The captain will live. I thought he was going to knock it out of your hand for a minute. <laughs> oh God, I wish he would have. Hey, Venus. You got it? Venus? Venus! What? Don't zone out. Do you want to die? Sorry. I thought I saw something. This Dio chattered. Can you pass me a new one? 
Ju- oh, Ju- <laughs> it's okay. Jupiter climbs up the pole to pass a new crystal to Venus. Neptune keeps watch, but she's mad because fixing the sirens is stupid and menial, and there's no reason they should have to do it. Neptune refuses to participate unless we're cutting corners. Here, Venus. Oh, no. What? Oh, look who it is. Hey. 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 Group South doesn't really look the same, but we can't remember their names or tell the differences between them. Which is super mean of us. No wonder they hate our guts. You guys got the lake sirens. We got the forest sirens. You guys got the lake sirens. You check your own sirens. You guys got the lake sirens. You should leave. Uh, the bonfire captain told us these ones, guys. Yeah. Yeah, why are you lying to our faces? Do we look completely stupid? Y yeah. That's what he said. Venus must have heard wrong. That's what he said. He said Venus would screw it up again. That's what he said. Venus sucks and should go home immediately. Group South does everything perfectly and is the fucking worst. The best kids in a camp for bad kids are absolutely certain to be the fucking worst. Oh shit. Huh. If you don't know the difference between the symbols, I can tell you. But no, I, I know. This is Venus yeah. plus Neptune, and this is Venus plus, uh... Or Venus plus Jupiter. Yeah, well, the first time I played, I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? I thought I had a stroke for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there... I thought this said 21 at first. I was like, so I was like, okay, so this is gender. Venus' is symbol is gender, and, and this is a 21, and the Neptunes is just the trident. I didn't realize it was the planet symbols. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I like. I. Oh, don't get me wrong, I really like bitch. No, I think, so we have to have Venus. I think we need Neptune, so Venus is able to stand up for themselves more. Mm -hmm. I'll go take care of the next one, guys. Catch up, okay? She go, She oh. go. <laughs> We're gonna do excited. this five more times. Yeah. One year every single time. Exactly. She goes, but Group South doesn't. They just watch. We can't focus on what we're doing or enjoy it while being watched by someone expecting something who won't say what and won't leave. Venus keeps getting distracted by the lights and Neptune is keenly aware of the pit in her stomach. There is truly nothing weirder than denying us distraction. God! Seriously, what do you want? Nothing. Nothing. You're cool. Ow! Mabel just scratched me. <laughs> she said, I want attention right now. She does. She really does. Mabel, I'm sorry. Nothing. You're cool. He's the one in trouble. Really? I must not be, since the captain's not here. Group South stares at Venus. Venus ignores them. They can stick around if they want. We can pretend to fix the siren all night. Hey, Venus. Hey, Venus. You're taking a while. Hey, Venus. You're taking a while. Need help? No. Captain said I could do it alone. Go away. It's distracting. Don't you have somewhere else to be? Isn't Captain gonna be mad if he sees you slacking off? Nah. He was pretty pissed off last time, wasn't he? Nah, we're supposed to be here. Everyone was laughing. It's Venus's fault. Nah, we're supposed to be here. It's Venus's fault. <laughs> Ugh, 
God, I wish. The worst thing Venus has done is not fuck up hard enough to get us all kicked out. What is your problem trying to get him to do something right when you could be doing something productive like fucking up and getting us all sent home? Yeah, ask him. Yeah, ask him. Yeah, ask him. The captain doesn't like you. Hey! I don't know why he doesn't like you, but the more you try and get on his good side, the worse he'll make it out for you. He doesn't need a reason. He hates it when people try to get on his good side. You! He hates it because it's like you're telling him what to do. Fuck it. Fuck it? Fuck it. Venus. You have to be done by now, right? Venus. Venus! Oh, yeah, I finished a while ago. <laughs> what are you even looking at? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry. I'll come down. Venus climbs down from the siren, which crackles softly with the faint static of the radio again. It's louder than normal. God is already warning us. Um... What? Thanks. And, um, sorry for fucking up all the time. I literally don't care. They're idiots. They don't get it at all. They're so obsessed with you. It's so weird. They hate me, though. Obviously? Is that supposed to make a difference? Does it not, Mabel? Mabel, no. Mabel, say hi to the stream, and I'll maybe forgive you. Hi, Mabel. Nah. <laughs> she's very kitty, but that means she's very crackheaded right now. Yeah, pure vibes. Please, you have toys. You play the sky as Minecraft. <laughs> she's offering them up like that. You Sacrifice as okay. Minecraft. Yes. <laughs> Alright, here, let me go back to the logs. Does it not? Oh, God. I really wish you would fuck up so bad even the captain hated you. It'd be a good look for you. Uh, oh. But I don't think I actually could. Mess up on purpose, I mean. It's literally as easy as doing nothing. I know. Sometimes it feels harder to not do something than to do something? I wish I was a little more like you. You deal with this stuff so... easily? Venus. Y yes You're never allowed to think I have it better off than you. Ever. It's the worst thing you can do. Uh... Oh. I I'm sorry? Sometimes I kind of envy you, Venus. And other times I really kind of don't. 8 p.m. Oh, we started at 6 p.m., the devil's number. <laughs> the road there is through the woods, but not far. We just follow the sirens to where they're covered in vines and their lights don't work so well anymore. I meant to ask, how long is, like, a playthrough of this game, would you say? Like, should, <laughs> would I be able to do it in one stream or do you think I'll have to end at some point? Um, uh, it's, I don't take too long to read it. Okay. It's. But we I, don't are. Know, I don't know how to describe it, because we're doing it, like, out loud, which puts a big hamper on the speedrun. <laughs> on the fucking we know the devil any percent? Yeah. <laughs> but I think we should be able to get, like, at least one route done. Okay, Question cool. mark. If we put our backs into it. Because it um, goes up until, like, 4, 5 a.m., but, like, some of the hours are shorter than others. Okay, cool. It's fine. It, it's fine. Love these we Google still... <laughs> images. Did you know that actually that 
all the stuff was filmed on like a disposable camera. Oh, that's fun. That's very fun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right. We still can't ahead. quite believe it. It's a house humans are supposed to spend a night in. It has electricity, unbelievably, and also illegally, because it could likely burn down and kill everyone. What is it? I'm trying to think of something positive to say, but, uh, I can't. It's a work of actual art. I'm truly impressed. In all kinds of ways. Mabel, what the fuck are you even fucking You okay back there? I don't know. Oh. How? How the fuck did you knock down my my contact box? What? My box of contacts. Talented little gremlin. Oh, she's getting bigger and smarter and eviler. More powerful. <laughs> Seriously, I'm in awe. No ordinary idiot built this cabin. An ordi ordinary idiot would have given up long before this. It takes a truly extraordinary idiot to just keep at something he has no idea how to do. I pray we never have to meet him. Hmm. What? I was just thinking. It's like, guaranteed the captain built it, right? If you tell a joke with a face that straight, someone impressionable like Venus, impressionable like Venus is going to believe you and be terrified for the rest of their life. I'm totally serious. Can't you imagine how proud the captain would be of himself? He'd never think he was doing a single thing wrong, right? There's like half a dozen horrifying shacks here. You must have had so much fun. God, hold me, please. You've chilled me to the depths of my soul. <laughs> Jupiter snaps her hair tie against her wrist. There's something wrong with the lock. Is it broken? I don't hear any static. It really is broken. That's so dangerous. No one would leave it unlocked like that, would they? No, they wouldn't. They could have broken in and not told anyone. That'd just be like Group East. I think Group South was here last. Or them, or anyone. They're all jerks who'd rather let the next group take the fall than fix it, so what does it matter which one it was? The crystal and whisker look fine. It looks like someone tried to tape it together, but it must have come loose. It. It could have already been like this, but this kind of charm doesn't break that easily, I don't think. You just need to make sure the wire is securely touching the Galena? Fucking, what did you say, Percy? <laughs> Big shout outs to the awesome summer camp I went to that was A, in the National Radio Quiet Zone, and B, in like an old military training facility from the Cold War. Holy shit! Not to, like, I, this isn't derogatory in any way. Percy, the more I learn about you, the more I understand why your OCs are the way they are. <laughs> I, I mean this affectionately as possible. Mabel. I should just read. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted by this. Jupiter relaxes slightly. She's more worried about the devil than any of us, but all of us are worried. Though, not that worried. Humans are much more likely to kill you than the devil is. Statistically. Hmm, okay. So it's Venus and Jupiter, or Jupiter and Neptune. Yeah. Hmm... I was like, I do want to get Jupiter in for a round, but both of them include Jupiter, so that's kind of a non-issue, huh? You will include Jupiter. I really like Venus. 
I think I'll do Venus and Jupiter. Supreme choice. There's probably some wire in the weird little shacks in the clearing out back. Have fun. This shack is full of shelves and drawers, all neatly, maniacally squeezed along all the four walls. It's much prettier and sturdier than the one we're staying in, but it's inhumanely small. The house seems to be built for modestly large dolls. We have to hunch over to get in, and we can't move without bumping into each other. We've thought two possibilities for how this happened. The possibility which is weird Oh, sorry. The possibility, which is weird, is that someone, possibly the captain, decided to make a 0.6 scale house on purpose for 0.6 humans or dolls for fun and then turned it into storage. The possibility, which is scary, is that somewhere, someone somewhere, possibly the captain, completely finished a 0.6 scale shack before realizing his measurements were off in the first place. If we find the tape, can you fix it? I... I think so? But it's kind of worrying for it to be like that. Mabel, I'm going to throw you on the ground. Lightly. Not rudely. I'm not going to be like... What was that Mabel, one? I'm going to make you levitate. <laughs> uh, what's the name of that uh, one Twitch streamer you're not allowed to insult uh, who threw a cat? Oh god. Some... You know who I'm talking about. I, I so, know who you're yeah. talking about, yeah, it's in the clip. Uh, but it's kind of worrying for it to be like that. Maybe we should call the captain? We could do that. But let's try to get it working first. I put her on the ground and she immediately hops on my leg and just runs again. She's really fascinated with the mouse cursor. I'm sorry, this isn't a Mabel stream, but it's kind of become it could one. Be. I'm a little worried. I'm sure it'll be okay if I talk to him. You'll be fine, I promise. I believe in you. Really? Just search that drawer, Venus. We root through the drawers again, a little more intently. Are you scared of him? Got it! Oh! Yay! I almost have it! It's way easier than I thought! See? It is getting very loud right now. Yeah. We know the devil be like synth music. Nice. I'm glad. I've and now it's very quiet. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> nice. I'm glad. I really didn't want to have to go back to the captain. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's really that I'm scared of him, but he does make me worry. Oh. Um he, he doesn't hate you or anything, I don't think. I mean, he's nicer to you than a lot of people. Why does everyone think that? He never got mad at me, but I don't like being liked by him. It makes me think there must be something wrong with me. I don't want to be the sort of person that he likes. It makes me shiver. He likes people he can make a little uncomfortable and won't give any trouble about it. Like us, I guess. He <laughs> suspicious possibly Mabel noises in the background. <laughs> All noises are fucking Mabel noises right now. Exactly us. We're the if only you hear people a large he likes. Honk, it is Mabel. Honk. <laughs> it's not it's not the night clowns. That's a joke, by the way. I don't have night clowns. <laughs> Besides Bard. Um, we're the only people he likes, after all. I don't think he's going to do anything terrible. 
No, he wouldn't, but I don't know. Maybe he already did? All right, all right, current, current, current crack theory. Bro, the fucking camp man, the, the captain's the, the devil. <laughs> Close enough, yeah. Like how you don't have to touch someone to touch someone? You know, that sounds weird, forget it. Nine peem. Peem. We're supposed to sleep in shifts, but no one actually told us how we're supposed to do that. We all fall asleep in an instant and wake up in an instant on demand. Not us. Jupiter is bad at waking up and Venus is bad at falling asleep and Neptune is fantastic at both. On no schedule but her own. One way or the other, sleeping sounds like too much work and we're not going to do it. If we had one more, we could play... Ultrich. Is there anything... <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything fun to play with three people? No. There's lots of things. Maybe? Mm, let's not, though. I miss you. <laughs> Surely there has to be something better we can do with our lives. Mmm... -hmm. I'm very upset at you both. Oh, uh, What are things normal kids are supposed to do in this sort of situation? Like, truth or dare? Or something? I keep having to- the reason I keep pausing is because the Mabel's in the way of my computer screen. Yeah, I can hear the Mabel noises, so take your time. <laughs> Mabel, scream. Scream for the audience. Mabel, silence. She yells only when I don't want her to. Yeah. Cats, specifically, that is the only way that they work. True or dare something? That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. That a great idea. I guess it's an okay idea. Well, it's not terrible. Great, everyone agrees. It was a wonderful idea. Neptune, you go first. Why? Because seniority? I I'm, I'm the oldest though? Then, because for some other reason. Fine. So, how do you play Troop or Dare? Oh my god. Are, are you for real? You alternate Truth or Dare, and you go around in a circle, and whoever... I need to save you two from yourselves. <coughs> oh, that sounded fine to me. No. <laughs> Everyone shut up and listen to me. If I go first, like you just said, I ask you true for dare and then you pick and then I think of something horrible, okay? I cannot believe either of you. Oh, wait then. It's too late, you already said I could go first, own it. Okay, okay. Uh... Okay. Well, we haven't had, um, we haven't had, um, Jupiter plus Neptune, so we could do that. Plus, I, I feel like this is setting up for it to be a Jupiter and, uh, Neptune time. So, and also I feel, route, man. I know it's my route, it's my, it's my life. I just like talking about it out loud. Mm, hold on. Uh, much like all streamers, I'm controlled by my chat. Fine. 
Fine. You then. I'm petting her. I'm definitely petting her. She just knocked over the chat that's on my phone, so, uh, whoops. Ghost, let me know when you're back. Yeah, I'm sorry, my sister just walked in, and she did that sibling thing where she just stands there and then didn't say anything. Just, oh, like... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Who do you like? Um, I... You didn't hold back at all. There's no mercy in true for dare, Jupiter. <laughs> well, I don't really... I absolutely will know if you're lying. Don't dare. Uh, okay. I will know. Jupiter snaps her hair tie against her wrist. Well... Then you already know... Just kidding. That's a dumb question. Uh, oh, that that's fine. It'd be so boring anyway. It's not like I can actually imagine you fawning over some dude. <laughs> well, what's that supposed to mean? You just aren't the sort of person who'd chase after someone. Like it means you're a lesbian, Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> like... You wouldn't let them think they were worth that kind of effort if they didn't deserve it, or let them think they were better than you if they weren't. And who is anyways? No one's that cool. <laughs> Thanks, I think that was a compliment? Though, probably no one is ever gonna want to date me. Do you want anyone to date you? Is that your true for dare question? Damn it. You're too sharp. Neptune, you're the sort of person who'd wish for infinite wishes first thing just in case it worked, right? Hey! Whose turn is it, huh? Aw. But I wouldn't have had an interesting answer either. I would have just said I'd only want to date someone if someone wanted to date me. You're doing it again. What? You're... <coughs> Never mind, you win. Venus, you should pay attention. This is how you get out of playing stupid games. Ah, uh, okay. So, whose turn is it? Oh, no you don't. I told you that wasn't the question. You just went and answered it on your own. Ah, <sighs> fine, you got me. No excuses. Uh, I, I guess that's fair? Of course it's fair. If there's no answer, it doesn't count. Okay, then. Here it is. Ready? Totally. Truth. Who does Venus have a crush on? Uh, um... Hmm. Wait. What if... What if I get it wrong? Then you're in trouble. Still? Not fair! Guess I need to get it right, then. Hmm. Oh, it's totally you. Uh, um, no, absolutely not. Illegal. Aw, uh, why not? It's cute. He has good taste. Boo. No, awful. Absolutely rejected. <laughs> you are not funny at all. Ten peem. Ten peem. It always seems like the sun will never set until we look up and find it already has. The sirens buzz a little louder now. They always buzz louder at night. The devil is weak and humans are strong. And that's the way it has always been. Even a kid can t kill the devil. All she has to do is try. I'm bored. We should make the rounds, maybe? We should do something else. We should make the rounds. Or we could do something else? Come on, we have to. It might be nothing, but if we don't check, we'll get in trouble. Or die, you know. 
Jupiter pulls herself up by her radio. It's long and thin and delicate, but then there's that awful wait at the end. Let's all go. Bring your radios. And and leave everything else? Yeah, why not? It's not like anyone's going to steal it. What if he comes by when we're gone? Hmm, that's true. Ugh, who cares? The captain, a lot, probably. Ugh, I know. But it's not good for one of us to be alone. That's why there shouldn't be three of us in the first place. This is such a joke. It makes sense for two people to go out and one to stay here. Okay, do you want out now, finally? Thank you, Chloe. Baby must scrum. Um... Bridge asked if anything drastic has happened. Uh... Mabel has escaped containment. Mabel has escaped containment. Uh, in-game, I did Venus plus, uh... Or no, I did Jupiter plus, um... Neptune. Neptune. Plus. Thank you. Um, and they played true for dare, except very badly. And then, um, Jupiter said Venus has a crush on, uh... On Neptune. I keep forgetting Neptune's name. Neptune-shaped. True. It makes sense for two people to go out and one to stay here. Ugh. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. We should do something else, actually. True for Dare again? Oh, come on. After all that, you already convinced me. The sirens are louder tonight. I can definitely hear something. No, forget it. I don't want to. Let's just not. He's never gonna know. And tonight's just going to turn out to be another night where nothing happens, right? I don't want to. Let's just stay here. That's what I was saying. What if the captain comes checks on us? Nah, he's going home with his girlfriend or whatever she is tonight. Irresponsible. Gross. Whatever. It's so him. He's not going to bother us, and even if he did, we could say we were totally just about to, or we already did, and how how's he going to know? C cool. Good. Jupiter sits down and gently leans her radio against the wall. It's an easy and correct choice to make. It would have been nice to go together, but we can't. We should do the irresponsible thing and stay in the sleeping bags and piles of clothes until we're happy. True. Nah. Here comes the sirens. No! Ah! They're so loud! God, why won't he shut up? But God has spoken on that unmistakable frequency. Two of us have to go. One has to stay. Oh shit, okay. Interesting. Also, I'm going to turn down the audio again. I love the synths in this game, I must say. I love the synths, but they do drown us out a little bit. Uh, so, sacrifices must be made, I guess. In the oh, name of innovation. This is a hard fucking choice, though. Mm. Chat, have any preferences? Any, any thoughts? So it's. Is this everybody who could be together? I don't think so. There would be six choices of it. No, I can't do math. Uh, so we can take Venus and Neptune. Uh, we can do Jupiter and Neptune, or we can do, um, Venus and, uh, Jupiter. I mean, yeah. Wouldn't leaving Venus be more dangerous? Yeah, that's why we're taking Venus. Um, alright, let's take... I mean, part of me is like, I feel like... It's smart of us... 
Oh, Jupiter doesn't want to go, and Neptune's already been convinced. So... And, and Jupiter's really against it, and I feel bad. I will... I, also, I don't know. Weighing in, my, I think my favorite outcome for this route is um, Venus and Neptune, but specifically because it gives more, like, Jupiter vibe. Because, I don't know, I'm filthy Jupiter kidney. And... All right. End statement. Hmm. It's still up to you. I, I don't want to, like, side seat game, passenger seat game. No, I'm fine with passenger seat gaming. As long as it's the best experience. I do like Jupiter so far. All right. Y'all want Venus and Neptune? All right. Uh. Venus, Neptune. I'll stay. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit, feed your cats, Dave. Whoa. This is so unfair. It'll be fine. They won't get me that easily. I'll broadcast from my radio, and you'll be able to hear it and come home. It won't be hard. But I don't want to do it. We leave... We leave oh. <laughs> <laughs> we leave Three Jupiter times. swinging her radio and tuning the house radio. The trails through the woods are wide and precise. Camp is supposed to be an easy adventure. The minimum expectations are low. Don't walk off the path. Keep the lights on. Don't let the devil in your heart. Anyone can do that. Well, I guess that didn't work. We were so close, though. We totally could have gotten her to let us all stay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Sorry. I, I started trying to convince her we should stay once I realized what you were doing. She likes being alone, though, so I think she'll be okay. It's fine. It was silly to try. She's too responsible. Do you think she hates us? It's not even her fault she's at the Summer Scouts. Like, it's ours. Venus, can you shut up? Please? Oh. Sorry. Jupiter doesn't hate anyone. She's like an ascetic monk at not giving a shit. People stop walking over her because she doesn't care enough for them to get a rise, and that's the only reason people do that. It's so annoying. Why do you care about what she thinks? I don't know. I think she's cool. I don't want to be a bother. Of course she's cool. She's just all half smile and ugh, sorry. And no one bugs her about anything ever. Do you not kind of hate that she's so cool? Why? I, I wish I could be like that. Because it's fake. No one is that invincible. If it hurts, you should say so. People are supposed to get hurt by things. It's fucked up not to. It's not good for you. You too, Venus. Have a little more self-respect. I know that. It's not like I'm stupid, you know. I worry about her too, you know. Don't you want to at least make stuff a little easier for her? No. I want to make it worse. I want to make it so bad she has to say it. I want to hear it out loud. She shouldn't keep living like she's never going to get it off the tip of her tongue. I... I don't think she's ever going to. I, I really do wish I was a little like her. But still... I'm a little glad I'm not her. I wonder if maybe she wishes sometimes she wasn't her either. Maybe. A lot, I bet. Maybe all the time. Do you ever feel like that? Do I ever what? Sorry, I... What? Do you? I... I, I do, yeah. 
let's head back. Sometimes, I do too. It's normal. Let's just get over it. Eleven Peem. Eleven Peem. Oh shit, doesn't start with narration this time. You can barely hear the sirens anymore, guys. It's fine. Sit still, you are making me crazy. I'm still a little worried. It's always like this. The devil always shows up when you least expect it. You two are unbearable. All we literally have to do is chill. You can do that, right? Right? Um, I can try. Well, <laughs> not really. God, I should have known. You are both impossible. I'm so glad I brought this. <laughs> oh my god. The bottle is half drunk and sticky and smells of paint thinner, sugar, artificial flavoring, and that is exactly what it is, along with some additives that will shave years off our lives. No need to praise me too much. You can thank me by drinking this until you're no longer anxious and annoying. That's... I'm... illegal! This is- that is fine, because either way, I'm gonna drink it until I don't care how anxious and annoying either of you are. How'd you even get that? I traded this fine bottle of Pernicious Rogue for 20 bucks in my three ugliest shades of nail polish. Aren't I generous? I haven't ever had alcohol before. Oh god, it hurts just to smell. Are you sure this is something people can drink? Impossible, the both of you, I swear to god. Sorry, it's not an Italian red, my darling princesses. I also don't have martini glasses or umbrellas either, but I promise you, adults are lying assholes about alcohol and all this shit is samely awful. What you should be saying is, Neptune, thank you so much for getting some of some with the chaser already in it, you perfect darling. You're saving us the embarrassment of throwing up after our first shot, and you ask for nothing in return but us to shut the fuck up. You're an angel who doesn't deserve any of this. Uh, um, sorry, thank you. Neptune, thank you so much for- Don't get smart with me. I only have two shot glasses, so who's going with me? Hmm. Shots time. All right, I guess uh, alcohol warning. Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> Dave, I think you just really like Venus. But also, there's some beef going on between Jupiter and Neptune that I really want to figure out. And that, like, interests me. So I I am thinking of saying, of doing Jupiter and Neptune. Because I think that's, that's fun. Oh. Jupiter, you're gonna drink, right? Uh... Please don't tell me you're not. I guess... Peer pressure. You're not cool if you don't drink. Oh no, I am falling for this. Look at me. I'm an after-school special. You're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Who knows what will happen. Okay. Okay. Good. Cheers? <laughs> Your face right now. It's not... Ugh. It's just so sweet. It'd be easier straight. Wait, this isn't your first time drinking? My dad sometimes gives me a little. And my mom too, on Sundays. They're really strict though. They want me to like, appreciate it and not do exactly what we're doing and drink horrible shit for the sake of getting drunk. Well, it's too late now. 
You're corrupted forever and the only choice is to drink until you are drunk and hungover so you can learn an important lesson about life and peer pressure and whatever. <laughs> okay, I'll drink to that. Bottoms up, bitch. Ugh, yep, still bad. Ugh, ugh. how do you stand it? You're barely making a face, it's infuriating. Another please. I can't stand it, it's awful. It's unimaginable. Please show me mercy. Another. Are you sure? Um, I'm just gonna read. Fuck you, take the shot! <laughs> Ugh, I hate this. What is this flavor? Fruit punch? Or is it green apple? Maybe watermelon? I can't believe you're not even tipsy. Your father's incredible. Is he Vin Diesel? Is he Arnold Schwarzenegger? Is he Ernest Hemingway? Are you the love child of Vin Diesel and Ernest Hemingway? Well, he doesn't care for a woman or long sentences, if that counts. <laughs> That's fucking funny. So you have read a book. I mean, it's not because he's mean or anything. He just doesn't like women. Oh. Oh. Wait, why would he send you here? Sometimes we just do stuff so mom will chill. <laughs> oh, your dad is cool. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Another? Okay! My dad said that humans may have made alcohol, but the devil gave them the idea. Your, devil, your dad has never been more right about anything. The worse it tastes, the more evil it makes you. And every kind has its own sort of evil in it. I think alcohol is incredible like that. It's all the same. N no, no, no. It's so different. It's so different. Like red wine makes you lascivious, but also kind of weepy. And beer makes you lazy, but prepare to yell. Oh yeah? Then what does this make you feel? Hmm. I feel like I want to break a window. Uh, you're right, fuck. I'm going to throw up on everyone. Uh, you are not sober. Neither are you, miss. It's written all over your smug, lazy face. I can tell. <laughs> uh, no, it's true. This is a tragedy. How my reputation as number one untouchable tomboy prude ever recover? God, don't complain. I got most touchable and it's not even true. I'm not half as bad as those sluts in Group Southeast. Leave me alone, please. People think you're so cool, you know? They're wrong and also jerks. Camp will be over soon anyways. Our assholes, fuck them. Fuck them, Jupiter. <laughs> yeah, let's do another. <laughs> Fine. Ugh. You shouldn't drink so fast. Ugh, no, it's not that. Are, are you okay? Oh, uh, God, I itch. <coughs> Neptune? It's okay. I, I, stop. Damn it. Not here. Come, let's go to the bathroom. Don't throw up here. I'm fine. Don't. <coughs> Neptune! Don't look. Are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Seriously. I'm fine. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I just felt a little sick. I can do one more. One more. Disgusting forever. Oh shit, 12 a.m., baby. Ooh. 12 a.m.? 12 a.m., baby. You're sure you're okay, Neptune? Fuck off, please. We're finishing this goddamn bottle and nothing will stop me. Am I drunk? Am 
I still drunk? This is hard. I don't get it. How are you supposed to tell? This bottle is almost empty and you two are babies and that is 100% objective measurement. We are. That thing. Drunk! Excellent work. 10 points to Hufflepuff. Wait, stop immediately and say that again. Uh, I mean, Venus is drunk and also hearing things. Yeah, trigger warning. <laughs> Mention of Harry Potter. <laughs> Sorry, I realize I haven't drunk like water. Stay hydrated, bro. Where's my stay? What happened to the stay hydrated bot? I haven't seen anybody use it recently. He died. No! <laughs> They dried him out, dude. He can't stay hydrated anymore. No! <laughs> Two of them. Thank you, guys. I totally wanted Hufflepuff, but the quiz put me in Slytherin. Are you serious? Same. Oh my god, really? But wait, I, I see it. You're just like... <coughs> What's her name? You know, Nymphomania something? The one with the cool hair and intense expression and the kind of gay? Exactly, wait. It was Nymphadora. Oh my god, she hates that she goes by her last name, and how the hell are you still sober enough to be able to pronounce and remember it? I'm not drunk. <laughs> Venus, come here. Uh, okay. I don't know. Do it. Okay, um, sorry, Jupiter, but Venus says I'm supposed to hold you down until you drink. I'll drink it. What boo ruined you? Both are no- f what boo ruined you both are- I know this isn't supposed to make sense, he's drunk, but- Yeah. Ugh. Oh my god. Are you drunk? Is it finally possible? Ugh. I need a second. We did it, Venus. Thank you for your support. That's the power of teamwork and good finding? 10 billion points to us. Good job, you two. You win, you two. What are we playing next? What are we playing next? <laughs> what a good question. We already did truth or dare, I guess, but there's probably something more awful and worse, right? Oh, like, like seven minutes in heaven? Oh my god, perfect. That is the worst, dumbest idea. Yes. No, no, wait, that's not... I will win. You can't win it, though. <laughs> God, let's. Bra bravery is for that other house. I declare it my turn. Hmm. Ah, fuck. I oh, good lord. I dropped a Pepsi. There's, t yeah, there's a lot of, lot of, uh, something that is normal to one. I think we're all- In the all... defense of We Know the Devil, it came out in, like- 2015 not yeah. good not great <laughs> not a great time to be alive hold on i'm stretching a little bit more had to crack my neck uh i think all of us are a bit done with neptune from what i'm reading in chat so uh jupiter neptune and venus cringe neptune cringe Um, so, we're here. Yep. Um, why? Because that's the game. I thought you were going to say Neptune, so I... What about Neptune? Why not you? You're safe. You're like a puppy. You're harmless. Did you lose your nerve? Except when you talk. Sorry, I, I just thought... You're so fluffy. Wow. 
What do you do to your hair? Basically nothing? We're friends too, aren't we? It's not weird. We're friends? See what I mean about except when you talk? Uh, oh. Sorry. People call any group of kids friends, even if they were just forced to spend time with each other and actually kind of hate each other, though? Jesus, Venus. I don't know what to do with you. I know. That's why I play dumb most of the time. Like about you and Neptune, but I don't want to get in the way. If you were that worried about me and Neptune, that's actually... A pretty cool friend thing to do. <laughs> Does that make you my wingman? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's all jokes. You sure aren't like other boys. <laughs> wow, I wonder why, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It would be a lot easier if I was, though. Thank you? <laughs> I finally found a compliment you like. I envy boys a little sometimes, too. Isn't that the good thing about them? That they're easier? A more straightforward sort of evil. Boys hate you to your face, at least. At least you know how they feel about you. People say that a lot. Is it true? Maybe this sounds weird, but... But... Actually, I don't think the boys are any different. I spend a lot of time with boys, you know? And they're mad to your face, sure, but they're always... Always... Mad about something else, too, you know? I don't know how to describe it. They hide what they're mad about by getting mad about something else. And they don't even know it. Like the captain. What's the captain really mad about, you think? I don't know. I thought it must just be being here, like us. But I think that's not everything. What do you think I'm mad about? You're not mad. What am I, then? I don't know. You're lying. I thought you said you were getting annoyed because I kept talking about it. <laughs> that's so right. What about you, then? I'm mad about a lot of things, I guess. Liar. You're not mad. You're jealous. Why are you so jealous? It's flattering. But it's... it's weird. I... don't know. We're so mean, though. We're mean to you! You aren't at all. And Neptune isn't... I wish I could be meaner. I wish I could be so much meaner. When you're mean, though, it doesn't feel mean. Like you said, we're friends, right? Yeah. You know, you could be a little mean, and we wouldn't care. I don't want to, though. Sometimes you're still mean without meaning to be. I know, I hate it. I'd rather get made fun of than be mean. Hmm. You shouldn't say things like that. Why not? I, I don't want to. I, I just don't. I know I'm getting bad at any getting any- I know I'm bad at getting anyone to like me and I'm weird and everyone else can deal with even though I can't. But I can't. I'm just going to be like this. I'm not going to be any different. You're asking to get beat up. I, I don't care. But for real. I said I'm fine. You're frustrating. Jupiter snaps her hairband. Venus feels something tighten around his neck. You, huh? Venus? Venus? Uh, I, I got you. I'm, what is this? What? Whose hands? I'm okay. Oh, oh God, I'm s I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
It's okay. I I'm fine. I'm o it's okay, I promise. It's not. It's not okay. Fuck if I know what happened there. 1 a.m. time, baby. Let's go. The sirens are still going. A little. Does it sound worse to you? You're imagining. The room fills up with static from our radios. And there's another sound mixed in with the static, but none of us can tell what it is. Whether it's music or talking or some sort of sound in between. The, the house radio! Is it the captain or group south? Is it God? It's not the devil. Why aren't the sirens going off? What's wrong with it? I, I can't tell. Sorry. I think the signal is too weak. Let's boost it. Venus wraps his radio around the house radio, and Neptune plunges hers into the wood. Jupiter lights the coil of incense nestled in the middle of her speaker. It turns red for a moment. I don't think anyone's signaling. West. Group West. This is Group West. Who's calling me? Even the devil can use radio, you know. The devil could do whatever. And if you worry about every little thing, that's just another way he can get you. Don't you read, Lewis? We're the only ones out here. There's no one else to come after. I don't hear anyone. What should we do? We could... We could ask God? Ugh. That sounds kinda... No, I, I promise, it's easy. We just need some extra wire. I just have to open up the radio box and... Okay, as long as you do all the work, I am fine with it. Someone should go get wire. Venus can stay here and tinker, and one of us should spot for him. Ugh, I don't want to go back to the shacks. I don't want to go, go want to back the shacks? I don't know. Uh, rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Oh, I was excited for rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> but obviously, Imagine this you're would... playing right now. I'm playing rock, paper, scissors right now. I was, like, so excited. There's not even enough options for rock, paper, scissors. It's a two-way. <laughs> Fuck. I mean... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know for this one. Like... We did just have Venus and Neptune, so I'm like... Okay, how am I supposed- I can't play against rock, paper, scissors against myself. I know what each hand does. <laughs> That's not random, you know? Bridge, you, you recognize that, right? Alright, <laughs> Percy is saying that we play rock, paper, scissors. God. Hold on, let me like astro project to your place and look okay. like Okay, uh huh, me, no, like, I'm, I'm thinking four seconds real hard. To get across the dimensional plane. Uh huh. <laughs> Just yell the symbol. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is the stupidest bit. Uh... This is, this is a pretty bad bit. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm kidding. Genuinely, do you have any preference for this one? Um, I don't know. It's hard because, like, I I'm trying not to explain the mechanics of the game and the the, the relevant endings. Okay. Because I don't want to spoil anything. All right, but, bet. Yeah. Like, when we finish our first playthrough, I will fucking rant about how I love We Know the Devil because uh, mental illness. ADHD, but like, 
it it do be making it kind of difficult. All right, let's have Jupiter. Okay, yeah, no, I I also was thinking it, but I was like, I don't know if I want to do two in a row. Oh, fine, I'll go. Oh, oops, we're the one making her fix it, huh? <laughs> have fun fixing it. I ho oh wait, no, she's not fixing it. She's the one being killed in the woods. I hope I'm killed in the woods. This is kind of stupid. Oh, this is kind of stupid. It'll be fine. Anyway, you suggested it. Yeah, but why won't the others just come help? Because we can do it? I guess? I hate, I hate being treated like this. Like what? Like a scapegoat. I mean, that's not it. But it totally is. If we were in the normal scouts, they'd rush to help us. They act like real teams and take care of each other and get Christodyne diodes and transformation sequences. What the fuck are you people talking about? <laughs> That's what partially why I love this game, because sometimes it doesn't make any fucking sense until you have to build the cannon in your own brain to make it make sense. <laughs> We can get them too. We just have to get through this. Right. Try hard. It doesn't hurt to try. I know it's no guarantee. Not everyone in the normal scouts tried all that hard, you know. Most of them did. Harder than I could. Do you think everyone in the normal scouts tried harder than you ever have? Well, if that's true, then it's true. But if even one person who didn't try as hard as you got more than you, you have to say it isn't fair. You sure won't budge on this, will you? Doesn't it feel unfair? It's just reality. It's reality on purpose. Reality that's someone's fault. Oh, hi. Hi, Dave. You missed a hey. really dumb bit we had. Um, you can still get better at this if you try, you know? It's not fair, but it's not the end. So? So? When someone rigs it from the start and then says, try your best, doesn't that make you mad? Doesn't that make you so inconsolably mad that you never want to try it at all? You're hard to figure out sometimes, Venus. I still, I mean, fuck it. We could do it now for no reason. You want to play rock, paper, scissors? Uh, you, sure. The fuck? All right. Rock, paper, scissors. I feel like Discord lag plays a part, but like. All right. Um, all right. So put your hand up. Okay, fine. All right. You ready? Yeah, sure. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh. Fuck, I, I didn't is, put my hands up. This is such an awkward bit. I'm not so this is not a good bit. Dave, how are you also going to play? Rock, paper, I scissors want Dave is a to two play. way. Can I champion Dave? Dave plays for me. Alright. <laughs> Fucking. No, will, we can't. We will play rock, paper, scissors with stream lag if Percy wants it that damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Rock, Dave, Dave, you ready? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I don't have a fucking webcam. Rock, paper, scissors. I pulled out paper. What do you have? And don't you dare fucking say scissors, or else I'm going to, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> Dave, I need you to say scissors. I'm rigging this. No, that's the problem is you can rig this. That's why it's not a good bit. <laughs> okay, fine, yeah. Oh, okay, Percy did rock, so I beat Percy at least. Thank God. <laughs> All right, this is the worst fucking bit this ever. Is not great. Sometimes even more than Neptune is. Really? Maybe I just don't get it. 
If you put in the minimum, you'll be fine. Right? That's what I do. Does it work? Yeah, well, mostly. Well, <laughs> better than nothing. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I can't. Not when it comes to this. What is this? Whatever they want out of me that's not fixing radios. To be tougher? To grow up? To... What's that? Hey, what's wrong? Can, can you see that? See what? There, right there. I don't... It's so bright. Venus, hey, stop. It's close. I just want to see. There's nothing there. But... Venus, I'm telling you, I don't see it. Okay. Two am. Two am. It's done. Well, shall we tune in on God? Whatever. We could also try calling the captain again. Uh, yeah, we could. Just stop. I said I didn't care. Just go ahead. Calling will absolutely make everything worse. It always does. If there was any chance the devil wouldn't come, God will ruin it. But who cares? Of course the devil is coming tonight. So do it. We arrange our radios in a circle. We all hold on to a length of the copper wire. We feel like we're part of a Christmas display. We pray. We don't really need to pray to it. Sorry, I'm just so used to it. I start hearing it in my head as soon as we start, every time. Right? It just pops in my head. <sighs> Same, it's fine. I'm just saying. We hold hands. We're looking for the signal. We can tell the difference between God and the devil. Finding God is pretty easy. He's 109.8 FM. The devil is never on the same frequency, but sometimes you hear a bit of him by accident when you're changing channels. By the time we find God, he's already talking. He never says, for those just listening, he expects attentiveness. I have to do a God voice? <laughs> Better figure it out, baby. <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> Maybe just like as serious as possible. No, I can't be serious. Or you can I have do a really speak. deep voice. I want. Oh fuck! Give us your best, God. <laughs> you guys are making me nervous. I'm sorry. A method of. <laughs> 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 okay. A method for the extraction of bile. Create an incision on the middle finger. All the water of the body can be thought of as a single ocean, as one drop. God sounds like every boy you're afraid of talking at once. You could have told me that before! You could have given me a fucking description <laughs> of the so way God funny. talks! Fucking what the- <laughs> I forgot that line because I was so caught up in your God voice. <laughs> I think if you went with something normal, I probably would have been like, oh yeah, this tracks, but like, that knocked me the fuck out. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Uh and extract the resulting ink. Place in a vial and explain to it the worthlessness of the treasures of Earth. Break it against a mirror, the cause of vanity. What a waste of time. Shh, shh, let's listen. Whatever. Each of you shall choose. It is certain that the devil is coming. Uh, no. It is certain. I told you. It is absolutely certain the devil is already here. Uh, parables 1 1. The devil. <laughs> this is so serious and I can't take my god voice. Oh god. Parables 1 1. 
the devil is only the shadow of man cast from the light of God. <laughs> the main. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm the butch I'm butchering your favorite game so bad. It's okay. I'm enjoying it. Ugh. Hold on. The meaning of this parable is that there is no devil. The weather is scheduled for a hundred with humidity tomorrow. And now for the news. Jupiter shuts off the radio. I don't want to do this. We should have called the captain. What would he have done even? Something else? It's okay, it's not the end of the world. It's not like being the devil means you're going to die. The devil, devil just happened. Don't pity me. It'll be the end of something. It's me. Don't pity me. 3 a.m. time. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. We know the devil. Sometimes it's okay to be quiet. It is nice to know that we don't have to talk sometimes. But Neptune can't wait. She's coughing and running down the battery of her phone. She looks worried, or maybe just itchy. <coughs> Neptune. <coughs> yeah? Um, are you okay? <coughs> yes. Uh... S sorry <coughs> Are you okay? I said <coughs> God, I'm fine. You're totally not. <coughs> You're making it worse. I need to throw up. Again? Yeah. <coughs> again. Are are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I need to go to the bathroom. You did the best you could. It's quiet, but it's not okay anymore. We shiver whenever Neptune coughs. Even through the bathroom, it sounds louder than ever. <coughs> Jupiter knocks on the door. You sound really bad. Can we get anything? <coughs> no. Do you want to go back? I mean, we can if you- I told you! It's- <coughs> Jupiter, she's- I'm fine! Neptune, oh please, open up the door, okay? Please, you've- you gotta open up. I'm fine! Please. I'm fucking fine! <coughs> <coughs> You have to come out. <laughs> okay. Okay. You asked me to come out, so I'm coming out. The door opens, and it's her, but it's not her. He grabs Venus and crushes him against the wall like he's just a little dog. <laughs> Sorry. Stay good there, Venus. Drink up. Neptune lets the ichor drizzle off her finger, like it's chocolate syrup. Jupiter screams and pushes her, but Neptune won't even flinch. She ignores her completely. At least you know how to be decent. <laughs> Jupiter punches her, but she can't even remove her. Calm your tits, Jupiter. I just need, like, a minute. Jupiter slams her body into her. I promise to be an incredible nightmare to you too, babe. Just wait a minute. Jupiter runs to the packs and she pulls out her radio. It's long and thin and heavy and she takes it and she swings it and crashes the blunt of it right against Neptune's shoulder and she crumples to the ground. Jupiter grabs Venus and bolts. Neptune is already on her feet again and she just watches. Jupiter holds her radio with one hand and Venus with the other. He calls for support against the wall. Percy, I, I, I'm sorry, I do have to say this. Percy, I don't think her titties are off. I think that's supposed to be like the outline of lungs. 
Neptune is on her feet again. She just watches. All right, I did I read this? You you just needed to read the. It doesn't look like he can see. Oh yeah, I was banging on you. Sorry. It doesn't look like he can see. I got so distracted by the pointing at the model. I was like, wait, is it? <laughs> like, what the fuck am Ugh. I looking at? Hold on. I've seen this a million times. What am I looking at? Sorry, I lied. But you should have known better. You kids are trying so hard to be good. And I guess I don't want you to. Doesn't it feel unfair? You're already good. So why do you have to try so hard to be good? It makes me mad. They want you to prove you're good. But you're already so good. What is that? Why do they do that? Why did they think I wouldn't notice that? That it should be so obviously be me. That it so should, should so obviously be you. It makes me so, so mad. I hate this place so much. Why are either of you here? Why do we have to be here? Please stop. Please, please stop. Let's just, we don't, it, it doesn't, God, just stop. Please, I hate this. I'm trying to fuck up Venus for the rest of his entire life, and you too, if you would let me. And if you want to stop that, I guess there's a problem and you'll have to kill me. Does that kid look happy to you? Well, I guess we have different opinions and you will have to stop me from making him into what he's trying very hard not to be. And Jupiter, I want to do the same to you so badly. So, so badly. Please. No. I don't want to be good, ever. And neither of you should want to be good, either. Jupiter tightens her grip on the radio. Venus holds her shoulder. I'm okay. <laughs> Try not to kill me, okay? But, like, don't, like, go out of your way or anything. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Her stare is as quiet and black as the surface of the lake, like she's tempting us to drown. The only chill of the summer is in that lake, and even in August, it holds a place we can freeze to death. Neptune reaches out for us. She's a flood of every wicked thought, and they are pouring out of her now. The devil is lonely. We kicked out the devil and it misses us. It keeps begging to be let back in, for us to let it in. And Neptune did. Every terrible thought belongs to it. Water to give and thirst to take. Nothing can escape this flood. But we will. Neptune can't stain us. We chose to stay clean. And the devil only ever gets one moment. Her revenge, her desire, for please think of me. But there's nothing to fear when there's two against the devil. Venus springs to light, his radio whines and wriggles and coils around itself. Jupiter brings the storm, her radio blares and shrieks in the weight of its shutters. Our radios scream and crash against her, and the devil is destroyed. We have to drain Neptune and the lake, so we hang our feet off the edge of the bridge and of the bridge over what's now a gross, dirty crater while the rest of the group hack and pick to make sure nothing's left. The captain says we don't have to do anything but keep Neptune clean, which is our reward, we guess, but it's probably just to punish everyone else for not seeing it coming. Behind us, Neptune is draining on an ugly blue tarp. We used to have to change it every half hour, but it's running a little cleaner now. So we change it. Jupiter puts on rubber gloves and gently picks her up, and Venus bundles it up and throws it in a nasty green dumpster. How long, you think? <clears throat> it feels like it's getting closer, but it feels like it might take forever, too. 
Hey, Neptune? But Neptune isn't going to talk. We sit by the lake again. Some of my friends I talk a lot with, but other ones I don't. Like, we don't small talk. S speak only when necessary. But they're still my friends. I wonder how that works? My mom says that if you really know someone, you don't have to check in so much. Like, it's just obvious how you feel. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if if it worked for her all that well, now, now that I think of it. I guess for some things, words don't work very well, though. That's true. I guess we have a lot of time to figure this out. Yeah. We go to check on Neptune. We ask her if she can speak, but words or no words, nothing gets through. Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah. So, so <laughs> that's We Know the Devil, or one yeah. of the roots of We Know the Devil. Yeah. I love We Know the Devil a lot. Uh, its contents, its characters, um, the characters' motivations, the design, like, a lot of it. I, I, worms of the brain. But the one thing that is, like, excruciating about We Know the Devil is that, like, if you go out of your way to avoid a character, that's the ending that you get. Like, the character that... <laughs> I forget that Nikito Kamaida is in the special thanks until I see it every single fucking time. Oh, I did not uh, even- <laughs> I was not even looking. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh, God. It's 2015 game. I'm... <laughs> but, like, yeah, the way the game works, like, the character that is left out of the situations the most is the ending that you get. And if you okay. don't like Neptune, you get Neptune's ending, <laughs> which is why Neptune is the ending that, like, everyone gets first. Yeah, that makes sense, because, yeah. And it's kind of counterintuitive, I think, because Jupiter is my favorite ending, but you have to ignore Jupiter the entire fucking time to get it. <laughs> yeah, and she's kind of like, I guess I would say probably, like, I don't know, it feels like she's the main protagonist. Yeah, like, quote-unquote, the mean girl, you know? Yeah. But no, that was... Yeah, no, and, like, reading, seeing this, I still feel like a lot of... And that's, I guess, the point of a visual novel, is not all of your questions will be answered through one playthrough. Yeah. Which is... I actually... Huh? The process of creation of We Know the Devil is really interesting to me, because... The writer made this in a, a couple of months, maybe. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right, yeah, no, I was probably going to end stream after Infodump time anyways. But... That's, I don't know, for the most part, a lot. Almost all I have to say about it, because it's almost midnight o'clock for me. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, not that that's late for me, but, like, I know <laughs> you want to end stream soon. <laughs> fine i i always forget i'm like when i get into visual no i love doing visual novels i love i I'm, <laughs> i love doing stupid voices but i also hate doing them so much i personally really enjoy it it adds the experience a lot um bridge is you asking... like committed to the cough and it was so fucking good oh thank you uh Bridge asks if the radios are ever at any point explained. Like, you don't have to explain it. Just, like, are they explained? No, not really. <laughs> like, radios are just the medium through which um, they fucking... It's, like, quote-unquote magic, but based within... Yeah, yeah like, no, like, the devil's... I mean, the, the, the radios have, like, incense and shit in them. Yeah. It's a lot of, like weird fucked up imagery which is kind of like the goal yeah yeah urban fantasy kind of beat type beat <laughs> mm -hmm. but no that was very fun um a nice i thought it was very i guess fun i mean it's a bit of a more dark game so are yeah. there only three roots there are four technically like okay true cool. ending yeah no uh-huh maybe i'll try doing 
I like true doing true ending ones, so maybe if I find a guide for that, I might do a stream for it. Or I'll just yeah. keep doing roots over and over until I just find <laughs> find it naturally. That's literally like the when I first started playing We Know the Devil, I like instantly got the brainworms for it, and I was literally sitting there with like a tally mark sheet of like the character interactions and like trying to count out which would get me like the ending TM question mark. <laughs> I mean, she did transform. Bridge is technically right. That was a transformation. I don't know if she got the crystal diodes or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. But no, this is very fun. I like the world building of it. Like, I like how it kind of leaves just kind of questions to be desired. And I know it I love the world. I love the world building of it so much that I stole it. So yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> like I will completely commit to that. L. I stole the fuck out of We Know the Devil. Literally every <laughs> single plot device. I was like. It's like that thing when like kids like a thing so much they'll eat it. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, you you kind of did, but you know, you know. I will not even come remotely close to apologizing for it either. Who's the if, who's the author of this game? Uh, ABB. Um, ABB. I'm sorry. We're sorry for. <laughs> ABB. I'm not. I bought nine nine copies of your game. I have earned my right. I don't care. <laughs> We're sorry for plagiarism. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. But yeah, thank you all for coming to my funny gorilla stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. I I should probably play more visual novels. It's not a genre I typically play, but they're so fun to stream for some reason. They are. It's the funny voices. <laughs> True. Um, well, thank you all for coming. I'll see you all later. Good night. <laughs>